In this series, we are touring the UK and Ireland, looking for the energy solutions of the future. Is there a sustainable energy solution to our energy needs? We meet some prominent individuals and companies spearheading development of sustainable energy, and we ask them, how will the world make the transition? When will it happen? And are we there yet? Today I have the pleasure of visiting Sizewell Sea here in Leyston, Suffolk and I'm here with Julia Pike, Joint Managing Director. Welcome to Future Models, Julia. Thanks very much, I'm glad to be here. Great. So Julia, can you tell us what Sizewell Sea is and why it's important for us here in the UK? Yeah, so Sizewell Sea is going to be a new nuclear power station and it's going to make around 7% of the nation's electricity and of course the key thing about nuclear is it's very low carbon and it's not weather dependent. So it will provide great backup for um, the increasing um, volume of renewables in the UK. So Sarswell C is going to be a copy of Hinkley Point C. So for the first time in the UK nuclear industry, we're going to actually copy the above ground design of another power station. And that should make it um, easier and have the sort of the fleet effect that you would expect when you build the third and fourth units of the design, Hinkley, of course, is units one and two. What happens next? What does your life look like over the next 12 to 18 months? We have the permission to start building. So we need to acquire the main site. We need to carry on with all of the work we're doing to make sure that the project is not disruptive or is as least disruptive as it can be to the local community. And then, you know, really starting getting the building going. So it will start to look more and more like a construction site. Excellent. And so I can see already a lot of opportunities for the local supply chain, the local community, but also the future workforce. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Sizewell C will create at least 1,500 apprenticeships. Hinkley committed to 1,000, and I think it's currently on 1,300. It's done a fantastic job. And of course, that's created a workforce for Sizewell. Sizewell will put round about 4 billion into the regional economy. And the, sort of the proof of the, the pudding, the proof of, the, of our promises is really, if you look at Hinkley, you know, Hinkley has over-delivered on its promises. It's had a fantastic impact on the economy of the Southwest. And one of the recent studies, which I think was really heartening and should be really heartening for people here in Suffolk, is that the number of young people choosing to stay in the Somerset region has gone up by around 50%, um, in part, and probably in quite large part, as a result of the presence of Hinkley and the economic boost that that has brought. Excellent. So we've heard a lot about the benefits here. What do you see are the biggest challenges for a capital infrastructure project of this scale? I think the challenges are always the balance between obtaining all of the consents, which we absolutely are doing this project for the environment. We care about the environment. It's why we do our jobs. But I think that there probably needs to be some examination of proportionality around the process in order that we can build infrastructure more quickly. And I think that we need to do the best job we can as a nation and across political parties to get programme going. So it's much clearer to everybody, whether it's a supply chain investing in their own infrastructure, their own skills base, whether or not it's for the local councils looking at what road, what rail, what um, marine infrastructure do you need for a project like Sizewell Sea and for other projects in this area and uh, a programme as well for people to see their future. So if you come into nuclear at 18, you want to see that you have a complete career ahead of you. So the great news is you absolutely do through the combination of Sizewell B, Sizewell C, and of course Hinkley C. And we really hope that the future programme will get published and give the nation as a whole that confidence to come into the industry and have a great career here. Julia, you mentioned earlier, you mentioned the supply chain. What are the key messages you have for them? The key messages are that Sizewell C is a really important project, that we should all be confident and um, get going, invest in the workforce, invest in anything that you need in order to deliver this job, that we're going to do something together, which will be hugely beneficial, both for the region and for the nation and that they should get excited and, um, you know, it's really happening. Come down to Suffolk, come and see us, and we look forward to working with you on the job. Any final messages, Julia, for the audience? 
Um, really, these projects are made up of the supply chain. So there's a small team of science. Well, there's an enormous team of supply chain. Yeah. I'd just say, you know, this is a collective endeavour. We're all in this together. And it's a great thing that we're going to do. Many thanks for your time, Julia. Thank you. Thank you.